thesmartlocal.com I tell you, I'm ready to pop. I've been telling all my friends I want to pop. I want to make a baby! very appropriately and inappropriately dressed today. Can one! Can! I, al I always work in dresses. Confirm can one. Any guesses what you'll be doing today? Okay, since you say I'm like dressed appropriately and inappropriately, there's something to do with flowers, right? Today, you're going to be a florist. Woo! But you're not just going to be any florist. You're going to be oh, a no. wedding florist. Um, there's no like real wedding, right? It's a I real wedding. It's an influencer's wedding. <laughs> Honestly, right, I just know that they do bouquets, tables, centerpieces, the small, small ones. And I think like maybe like your chairs also got flowers, all that. Go look for your supervisor today. Her name is Ellie. Uh, just go. Okay, okay. Uh, Ellie, um, I'm gonna look for you. They arrived already and um, everything is in a rush. We never even introduced properly, then have to, have to do everything already. So. Okay, I, I guess I'll do, do now. Do, 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 do. Go, go. Okay, we pass you right there. You okay. Uh, I have to bend down and I'll die. Yep, I'm not wearing the appropriate outfit today. I told you, I told you. I will do my best. The amount of flowers is insane. I feel so lost today. Okay, I'm doing something. I feel useful. I better not this up, man. Can. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> There's a tree inside, guys. There's a tree. Okay, we're gonna need four people to lift. So one, every lift, one, two, three, lift. Oh my god! Yeah. Out, and then put it straight back. Oh, have you seen the amount of like flowers we are moving? Like, it's insane. It's a jungle. <laughs> Everyone, please welcome LA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically we're going to be setting up all of the stuff for the wedding. We're going to build a cove for the bride and groom. And oh, we're going okay. to make it look like a lush jungle. We Wait, is this believe. normal? This is actually easier than most, I think. Um, to be honest, I thought today I'm just going to be doing some bouquets. This is a nice relaxed load. Re relaxed? <laughs> okay. Bye. Bonk. Oh. Oh my god. If you don't get it right, I'm just getting slapped by At 1 pm, right, when Rico comes in, the Christmas tree and the big table at the front will be removed. Okay. Yeah. Okay, come, let's go. Okay. So, you know how every wedding has their table arrangements? Yeah. So this bride, she very specifically wants a variety of flowers and she wants like a lot of colour. So we've got a bunch of different flowers here if you have a look around. We've got yeah. orchids, pin cushion, hemlausium waxes and ginger flowers, my personal favourite. From here, what we're going to do is sort of figure out which flowers we should put on which table and mm -hmm. how to make it look like the most... Aesthetic. Va -va -voom. Okay. Yeah. There's eight for this table so you can place it in a row however you want, whatever you think works best. Okay. Alright, All right, let's go. Now we will start on the cove. <sighs> I'm scared. Okay, so we're going to be building our cove right over here. And basically, it's meant to look like the bride and groom are actually just sitting in a jungle. Really make it look full, like we're going to cover up everything so it's just greenery all around. Usually, right, how long do you all take to do the cove? I imagine this cove will take about three to five hours, depending on how quick we work. Okay, I think it's like the end result, right? Then it'll be damn nice. Yeah, because it's like the progress and everything. Okay. Then after that, when you reach the end, then you see the bride and groom enter. <gasps> and then we can put it down right here. So basically, we just need to cover this and make it look really nice. Just put. <laughs> yeah. Damn. And we're gonna spread it all around. Actually, here. what does it help to do? Nothing. Just help to cover. Yeah, this is just a purely aesthetic. Oh, okay. Uh, you can yeah. unveil the plastic sheets also. Okay. Okay. I can cut this one also. Nice. So pretty. What do you do with the leaves though? Yeah, we're just gonna leave them. Okay, so now we're gonna let you cut this and we're gonna try and spread out the ferns because we want it to really just come out everywhere. How do you fan this out? 
I'm just without sort of breaking like pushing, it. Push it down. Just hold it okay. and like tilt it down and out. I feel like Kai Kai and Jaja will love this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Okay. Damn! Just so you all know, this year, uh, I've been doing a lot of weddings and this is my fourth wedding that I'm helping to prepare already. So, when is my wedding? Huh? Steven Paul Vincent, these fingers look very empty, yeah? You're gonna be 30 soon. I'm gonna be 30 soon. But after 30, I can't do anything already. I wanna be a young mum. You don't need to give me a nice wedding ring. Don't need. We just do something. Just give me a wedding lah, please lah. You, you look at how everything like so nice. This year, we do so many weddings together. Wedding ah. Time ticking, ah. Now 11.45 a.m. Ah. You better remember Steven Paul Vincent. I come out of the full name already, okay? So we are going to start building our cove now. And we're going to start with this corner. So basically what it is, is that we're going to fill up this entire space so it looks nice and full and green. A bunch of our Johor slurns and we're just going to be shoving it in here. Once you've put a bunch of Johor slurn, it's going to look like this whole thing is a little tree structure. Oh, okay. And you okay. can shove it from different angles also. Okay, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Okay, she say you have to weave it in a bit. Got any thoughts about your own wedding? Oh, for my own wedding, I want to have a lot of flowers, a lot of plants. I feel like it won't be as colourful as this. I like when my wedding is a bit more rustic. Steven, take note. <laughs> Ellie, is this okay? Yeah, All the validation I need. <laughs> it's a little bit like flat, so usually oh. what I will do is, let's say this one, I'll stick it out this way so it looks like... Oh, it's fine to stick it out, is it? Like yeah. just lay it out? I think that's pretty good. Eh? I just move some of them like outwards a little bit, but it looks great to me. It's finally lunch time. We are like not even half done, guys. After this, I still have to go and do that, that long ass pole over there and continue staying flowers in and whatnot. But then you know, um, Steven, if you have given me the ring, do I need work? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's just eat lah. Let's just eat lah, guys. For this part, we are just gonna lay out the moss, and I'm gonna ask Ellie for gloves because she said that might be worms. Okay, Wait. so now we're just gonna be draping the moss and I wanna cover all the, the orange pots also. I see a worm! It's, it's not enjoying it. Yeah, it's hiding now, it's in there. Is it like a norm for you already? Yeah. Oh, just leave the worms in. Yeah, it's okay. So don't take out. Yeah, I would not leave. I would leave them in. What, what if it runs to the bright and boom? <laughs> <laughs> Run? <laughs> this smell like anything? Um, it smells mossy. Wow, yeah. It smells very earthy. So we cover as much area as possible. Yeah. Like just some spreading. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then I'll just leave it like oh, that. Oh, done? Yep. It goes from like all the unglamness of pots to now it just looks like a garden. So I'm gonna give you another tarp here. Okay. And you're just gonna pile on moss to make it look like okay. it's just all greens. Okay. Alright people, we have to finish by 5pm. We are on a time crunch. Now I just need to poke these leaves into the, the wires here and make sure that they are sticking out and fanning out and then we'll add more flowers as, as we go along. Actually the crew is just resting now because it's been quite a few hours but uh, Gladys is still working on the piece. She won't get any money for this part. Very hardworking part timer. <laughs> I don't want to rest, but she don't want to rest. After three grueling hours, the cove is finally done. Look at it. To be honest, I only did this side. Everything else is by the team, and it really takes a village to finish everything. But we only have like one hour left before the bride comes, so now we have to do the reception table and check the bridal bouquet. Okay, I didn't do the bridal bouquet. I didn't have the chance to, but it's okay. Just doing this right pole alone is already damn tedious. Now we are going to be adding the very last touch, which is our reception table flowers. So for this arrangement, we are grouping everything. So the chrysanthemums all go together, the carnations all go together, so your matheolas also will all go together. Very nice. So I think now we can do our pin cushions low here so okay. we can cut them short for you. What happens to these flowers like after the event is done? So it depends if they opt to donate it, we will just send the whole thing to wherever they want it to be donated to. And then sometimes we get to take it, like I've gotten to take home quite a bunch, oh. quite a few flowers also. Then like you have like fresh flowers to look at every day. Yeah, I know, I love that. As a final touch, we're just going to add in a couple of these ones. We can add a few all around. Is this okay? Yeah, very nice. Wow, this is really all coming together. Yeah, it's so fun, right? It's so therapeutic, actually. Yeah. This is the final piece of the puzzle! Look at it! 
think you did great. Hey, yeah. no, you, you did great. Legit, you did great in teaching me today. These are the bridal bouquets. They are so cute. And this one has the Venus fine trap. Picture plant. <laughs> I mean the picture plant. So all we have to do is to check the bridal bouquets now. And then we'll do the reception table. And then we are left with half an hour to 45 minutes. Before the bride comes and the groom. I'm so happy for their big day. Okay, so we're done for now, but we still have the tear down later with the team after the main event ends. But my experience today was damn fun. Just doing that right pole on its own, right, was already damn tedious. In my mind, I was like, oh my god, I want to do this right for the bride and groom, you know? I don't want to like disappoint the couple. I think a lot of people don't know about the behind the scenes of these events. There's a lot of work to be done before the event happens. It's not easy to bring everyone's vision to life. And I think Copper Garden really did a good, good job. Because you say that you like flowers, Copper Garden created this for you. Oh my god! And because you say you also like the pin cushion. <gasps> yes, give me the pin cushion. This is my new found love then. I'll totally get this as a tattoo eh. Sorry mommy. <laughs> So thank you for watching this episode of The Part Timer. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and ring the notification bell down below and watch our other videos over there. Okay, bye! Steven, Bonk. not bye for you eh. You gotta do some planning eh. Okay, thank you very much.